Welcome to Math Window. And today, I'm going to share you a wonderful integral question. How can I solve this math problem? You have to find the primitive of sine of x divided by sine of x plus cosine of x dx. There are several ways to solve it, but today, I'm going to share you the easiest way to solve this math problem. What's on the numerator is sine of x, and on the denominator is sine of x plus cosine of x. So now, solve this problem, and you must remember many trigonometry formulas. I do this. Have a look at it. Now I multiply cosine of x minus sine of x on the numerator and on the denominator. So the values of the fraction are the same. So it's the integral of on the numerator is it is sine of x and then I times I multiply cosine of x minus sine of x on the numerator and on the denominator. Now I want to tell you a fantastic fact of myself. Because if I draw lines, they won't be straight anymore. So I will use a ruler to draw this line. So now the denominator is now sine of x plus cosine of x and then times cosine of x minus sine of x. Don't forget dx. So it's the integral of the integral of sine of x times cosine of x minus sine of x. And the denominator and the numerator is sine of x times cosine of x and then minus sine of x all squared. And we draw the line with the ruler again. So now what's on the denominator? Sine of x plus cosine of x and then times cosine of x minus sine of x. a plus b times a minus b. That is a squared minus b squared. So this, we can write it into cosine of x squared then minus sine of x squared and dx. And if you want to continue solving it, you have to use these three trigonometry formulas. I will write it here for you. The first formula is that sine of 2x, what is that? It is 2 times sine of x, then times cosine of x. So you find that here is sine of x times cosine of x. So it is sine of 2x, then divided by 2. And the second formula is that about cosine of 2x. We use two formulas of it. It is 1 minus 2 times sine x squared. It's the first formula of them. And the second formula of cosine of 2x is it is equal to cosine, cosine x squared then minus sine of x squared. So these three formulas, and you must remember them. Okay, and now we continue solving it. It becomes easier. The integral of sine of x times cosine of x, and now I divide it by 2 on the both sides. So it is a half times sine of 2x. And then minus. Now we want to solve the value of sine of x squared. 2 times sine of x squared is 1 minus cosine of 2x. So sine of x squared is 1 minus cosine of 2x, then divided by 2. And here is minus. So that is a half 1 over 2, then times 1 minus cosine of 2x. Maybe now you know what all the denominator is. Cosine of x squared, then minus sine of x squared. It's cosine of x minus, oh sorry. I'm very sorry that I've lost the squared here. So we continue solving it. Cosine of 2x equals cosine of x squared, then minus sine of x squared. And now, so it is cosine of 2x. So it is cosine of 2x. Now we can integrate it. So 
How can I solve the integral? The integral of this, because here is 1 over 2. And now we write 1 over 2 here. And 1 over 2 times sine of 2x divided by cosine of 2x. That is tangent of 2x. So it's the integral of tangent of 2x. And then here is minus. Minus 1 divided by cosine of 2x. 1 divided by cosine of x is second x. But 1 divided by cosine of 2x is second of 2x. So it's minus the integral of second of 2x. And then here is minus, here is minus, so plus. The symbol is plus and cosine of 2x divided by cosine of 2x is 1. So it's the integral of 1. So it's the integral of 1. Now we can solve the integral of tangent of 2x. The integral of tangent of 2x is, you should remember that, is minus 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, and then times ln of the absolute value of cosine of 2x. You should also remember that. So it is minus, because here is minus, a half then times the natural log of the absolute value. Don't forget the absolute value. So here is 2x, so 2x. Then plus tangent of 2x. And then plus, this is 1, so it is just plus x. And don't forget to plus c. Yeah, maybe here. So the answer is that uh, right is smaller. A half times negative 1 over 2 is negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 fourth, then times here, the natural log of the absolute value of cosine of 2x. And then minus 1 half times 1 half. So it's minus 1 fourth, then times the natural log of the absolute value of second of 2x, then plus tangent of 2x. And then plus a half x. 1 over 2 times x, and then plus c. So this is our final answer. And don't forget to give me a like. We'll see you next time. Subscribe me, and bye-bye.